Hello, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's lesson, I'll be showing you guys how to play Angela, the theme from Taxi, written by Bob James. It sounds like this. Three, four. All right, so we're going to get through that much here in part one. That's the intro and a taste of the main riff or the verse. Um, but over at hdpiano.com, we'll, of course, be learning the rest of the tune from top to bottom, as well as talking about some soloing concepts and some arrangement tips, uh, depending on the context in which you're playing this piece. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to start off actually with the main riff. I feel like that's probably what you came here for. So all right. It's a lot going on in the right hand, but it's very simple in the left. Let's take a look at that left hand to start. We start with C and G, and then we keep that G on top, take that C down to a B flat, and then take this shape down to an A natural and an F. All right. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So that's three measures, very simple left hand. And the right hand, is only playing five notes, and those are the five notes of the C minor pentatonic scale. All right, it's the same five notes as the E flat major pentatonic scale, but starting on C. C, E flat, F, G, B flat, and C. And these are really the only five notes that you'll need to solo with, um, to improvise. Um, there's so much, so many melodies derived from just these five notes. So we start on the C, we go all the way up the scale to the top C. So how do we do that? Well, I cross my thumb under on F. So C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. All right, just see if you can lay down that left hand and then follow it up with those notes. All right, and before we get to the next left hand, we're gonna go. We're gonna grace into a G. Now, you want to free up some space with your remaining finger, so it's probably good to play this with your ring or your pinky. I'm kind of going like, uh, yeah, I'm doing my middle into my pinky. And then we come back down the scale from G, F, E flat, down to C. We go down and we come back, we come right back up. Down, up, and then to F. And when we hit F, we replace our left hand with A and F. Anyways, I'm going kind of fast. I'm going to slow down. Grace. Down. Up. F. Left. And then finish it off by coming down to E flat and C. Even slower. looks like this. Three. Four. All right, so we go from A flat major, A flat in the left, C in the right, and this is middle C, by the way, down to F in the left with A in the right, and these are just parallel tenths. If we took each note down equally, we would get to F, and same if we take this shape up to B flat, and then down to G, we get D on top and B on top, so we're going from A flat major to F major. That's A flat and C to F and A, to B flat and D to G and B. And the rhythm there is one and two, three and four. All right, so one more time through those whole four measures of that main riff, and then we'll take a look at that intro. Three, four. Even slower. Three and four and one and two. Three, four, one, two, three, four and one and two, three, four. Groovy. All right, how about that intro?
Now this is not played by the Rhodes. Um, oh yeah, I didn't even mention that this is played on a Rhodes keyboard, a Fender Rhodes, right? Very popular sound, especially back in the 80s, 70s, and 80s. Um, now my question for you is, what's your favorite uh, song that utilizes the Rhodes? Comment below. There are so many great examples, but I'm curious. Um, and one thing that I'm always hung up about is people mistake the Wurlitzer for the Rhodes. So before you comment, make sure that it's a piece that features Rhodes, not Wurlitzer. All right. So let's look at that intro. We're in the relative major now, E flat major. We have E flat and B flat in the left. And um, we're mostly using kind of the same notes of that scale, but we're gonna see like an A flat in there. And this is all coming from the E flat major scale. All right, so you can reference my key signature essentials series uh, to learn more about that scale, but it's important that you just kind of have your bearings. You're gonna see those three flats, E flat, A flat, and B flat. So we start on E flat and B flat in the left. We walk up G, A flat, land on B flat in the right with A flat, E flat, A flat in the left. Three, four, take the left hand down to G, D, G. One, two, and three, and four, and one. So here we go up to E flat, and then reset the left to D and B flat. Bring the right to C, B flat, E flat, F. We land here by taking the left hand down a step to C and A flat, G in the right. Play B flat F, walk the left hand down again to E flat and to B flat and G, and then we do this. And that's actually a Rhodes part there. That's not in the melody, that's the Rhodes playing that, which is C, E flat over A flat in the left, B flat, E flat over G in the left, and then um, A flat, C, E flat in the right, but changing to B flat from F in the left. So, and two, and three, and four. So it might be helpful to look at just the left hand here. E flat, B flat, A flat, G, and I'm just saying the roots, but we have this, you know, this same shape moving around here. And then we have what we're calling B flat over D. So it's like a B flat major chord with a D in the left, D and B flat. A flat over C, same chord, just down a step, C and A flat in the left, B flat G, and then A flat, G, F, B flat. With the melody. So the right hand melody is the same. All right, same melody, but you notice that left hand change. We play E flat, B flat, but instead of going down to A flat, we play D flat and B flat. And this gives us this kind of E flat major over a flat seven sound, very jazzy chord. And then we hit that A flat chord. And then instead of walking down to G, D, G, we play G, E flat, G, down to F, C, F, and then G and E flat, and then we end it the same way. So with the melody. That's the whole intro. So I'll play through the whole thing and then go into that main riff one final time and then I'll see you over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest. Here we go. Three, four. All right, great. That's all I've got for you in this first lesson, uh, but I hope you can join me for the rest. In the meantime, like and subscribe here on YouTube and follow us on social media. That way you can know about all of our upcoming lessons. My name's Devin with hdpiano.com. We'll see you there.